Right hey guys, hey awesome people, people, how are you? It's the, the weekend here actually. Like, and I yeah, sorry. I, I, doesn't mean you're going to get wait. it right all the time, but like. So if you don't know the latest spilled tea right now, Tati Westbrook just uploaded a, another video a few hours ago. It's called Why I Did It. Uh, if you don't know what the beef was, it was with James Charles. Uh, just a little bit of history if you don't know. Uh, pretty much James Charles is, I believe, one of the, or if not, the most popular beauty makeup uh, vlogger YouTuber. Uh, 16,000, over 16,000 subscribers actually. Well, at least a week ago. That's, you know, that's the number. Anyway, Tati Westbrook was the one majorly responsible for his success, I believe. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. I have been subscribed to Tati for the longest time, but not with James Charles for some reason. And then anyway, uh, last week, or I believe almost two weeks ago, uh, Tati Westbrook uploaded a video called By Sister, and that went viral. Pretty much, uh, the video was a tell-all on what what's going on with uh, James Charles, what really happened and all that stuff with Coachella and all that. Also with, uh, I believe there were some problems with this uh, from a business perspective as well, because one of the competitors of uh, Tati's uh, business, uh, I believe uh, James Charles sort of endorsed it at his Instagram, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. And I believe that was the that was the final straw. Tati Tati has had had it all. Then she released that video, and then from that time on, time on, the subscribers or the followers on James Charles' channel dropped like I believe almost three million or close to uh, no over three million already. And then there's a lot of drama in the makeup community and YouTube and. Also, um, after that, some sort of a, for damage control with James Charles, he released a video pretty much explaining his side and all that stuff. But then it's as if that, because I did watch that video, I watched the two videos and I don't know, there's just something not genuine uh, at James Charles' video. And uh, that video was appropriately titled Tati. And then right now, Tati has like over 10 million subscribers, while uh, James Charles' subscription is currently still decreasing, I think. And then, like I mentioned earlier, yeah, Tati uploaded another video. And um, what I can say is that from a friendship perspective, it's, you know, it's really hurtful. I can see that she's still hurting about it. And she even mentioned that if she can get, you know, give back all the newfound success. And of course, I'm talking about the additional uh, subscribers that have increased to her channel. That, you know, she would just take it back just to patch things up with James Charles. She is a very genuine person. I, I, I actually just uh, watched this video twice already since this morning. And by the way, the title is Why I Did It. And yeah, I felt for her because she was like a mother figure, basically, to James Charles. And somehow there were some betrayals, I guess, and, you know, from a business perspective as well. So it it's just all messed up. And I can tell that she is very genuine. She loves James Charles. And... You know, that's, you know that's, that breaks my heart. I mean, because we can always be successful, but sometimes real relationships with friends are more important, I guess. And one lesson I would take away from this is that, you know, you just don't, you don't bite the hand that feeds you or, you know, who feeds you. And of course, I'm talking about, you know, Tati and James. It's just so discouraging from a 
you know, from someone like me as a YouTuber as well. I don't know because sometimes we tend to give back. Well, not really give back. We, we just tend to be like all over our head, uh, you know, the success. For, for, for example, we forget about the persons who helped us along the way. And, uh, you know, we get success, we, we let success into our head, fame and all that stuff. It's just, it's just sad. I guess at, at the end of the day, we are all humans, but still, although in defense to, in defense to James though, I, sometimes though, I would think that if a person suddenly becomes successful like overnight, it's not really that he or she change. Sometimes it's the people or the 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 persons on his or her inner circle change their perception towards that person. I don't know if I'm making sense here, but yeah, I, I think that's one way to to look at it as well. That maybe subconsciously you did not really change because of the fame, because of the success. It's just that you know some the people around you or your friends, your family, your loved ones change their perception towards you. Something like that. Anyway, yeah, I believe that is all uh, for now. Yeah, I'm looking at Tati Westbrook. She's looking gorgeous as, as, as still as always, but you can see that she is hurting. And I really hope that every, everything will turn out, uh, you know, turned out well soon. I think James just needs to mature up or, you know, I really don't know. I, this is my first time reacting to this uh, issue with, you know, with this very huge makeup YouTubers, vloggers. So, yeah, I guess that is it. That's just something that's close to me because I have some of my content actually has been about skincare and I may be, gravi I, I may be gravitating towards, I don't know, maybe makeup or, you know, something like that. But still, I just really wish that, wish them both well. Obviously, they don't know me, but still, I hope they will be able to patch things up, you know, sooner or later. And I think Tati is not maybe closing any doors for James. I don't know. I think at this point, though, James should be the one to, you know, make the first move. So I guess that is it, guys. Sorry, this is, I've been, you know, talking too much, but this is just really my reaction, my two cents regarding this whole, you know, issue. And I hope you guys, you know, subscribe to me if you like. And let me know what you think in the comments section below. And have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.